What's going on, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Race Blaze. If you're new to channel, I'm subscribe to all that great stuff. Alright, y'all. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to quickly import your character, your re characters into our re engine. And I'm gonna do an extra bonus by rigging this character quickly. Now we are gonna be using Mixamo. It's not gonna be perfect. I decided to choose like a very complex character. As you can see, she has a little bit of you know uh gown on her, so Mixamo is not gonna like get this properly, but in our re-engine you can actually change this into a cloth simulation, which is pretty nice. So I won't worry about that. So let us begin. Now, in order for me to bring this into Mixamo, I'm gonna export this as an FBX. So I'm gonna go to file, export FBX. Okay. I just call this Jade for Mixamo. Okay. Classic name, I know. I'm a genius. And then we are gonna head over to our Mixamo tab, and I'm gonna go to upload character. And uh, basically, you just want to drag your FBX character here. So I'm quickly gonna do that. Um, and pretty much that will load up. Now you can decide to export FBX as um, with textures as well, but it's gonna take more time loading up in Mixamo. You don't really need that to be honest. All right, here we are. So the next thing we want to place all these points into our body. So obviously the chain will go into the chain area. Now keep in mind, this is not gonna be perfect because the pose is not, Mixamo usually gets the T, T poses right most of the times, but A pose, not necessarily, especially with the fingers. So we're gonna put this to the elbows here. And here's the knees which can barely be seen, but uh, we manage. <laughs> and here's the groin, which is basically, you know, the private part. So I, I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna drag this over here, maybe a little bit lower. Okay, for some reason our character is really small, which is kind of bizarre, but we'll use what we got. So basically I can't really see what's going on, Sometimes this happens, I don't know why. But um, basically, let's have our character just run, you know. So let's do a, like a running slide, because I want to see how the cape actually gets it right, right? So I'm gonna download this. Let's download that FBX. And now we want to import this into Cinema 4D. Bring this in to Cinema 4D. Okay, so pretty much this is our character. So let's see what's going on here. So as you guys can see, it's not that bad, right? If you got it properly, it's just, you know, the way it actually, yeah. I would say it's pretty much okay, to be honest. I don't find it that bad, right? Well, anyways. The most important thing is that um, it rigged properly. So let me bring in like a running animation, but in just like one place. Let's see how that will look like. So when we play this, so we can actually see that it 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 really rigs properly. To be honest, like this is really good, you know. So I'm just going to end this at 42. This is pretty good, to be honest, yo. Like, look at this. Like, it rigged properly. So let's go ahead to transfer the textures real quick. Okay. So it pretty much rigs properly. I really don't have any issue with it. Um, so yeah. Again, quite impressive, to be honest. Really impressive. Like, look at this, really, really impressive. Anyways, so how do you bring this into Unreal Engine and, you know, set up that in Control Rig using my template? I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So pretty much, I'm just going to do something one. I'm just going to do something real quick. Because, you know, the way Unreal Engine imports your textures is based on how you set up the whole uh, textures here. So, for example, 
you can see that I use the same texture for the eyes and eye reflection. If I import this into a re-engine, it's going to be imported as just one, you know, um, material. You know what I mean? So it's better if you want to like, you know, separate your materials, you have to add different materials, if that makes sense. But anyways, I'm just going to put this here as reflection and then, yeah. And we're all set to go. If you want, you can actually name your, your textures if you want, but you don't have to, but you know, to be professional, you have to, it's better you do it because sometimes you get lost, <laughs> trust me. So I believe this is just tussle. Okay, so we are good to go. So now if you want to import this into Unreal Engine, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this to bind pose because I don't want to import the animation yet. And so I'm going to turn this animation off and um, I am going to go to file, export, FBX. You can, you can include textures now. And uh, we're going to make this J4 Unreal Engine. So now we export. So now let's go ahead to open Unreal Engine. So this is just like my character setup. Um, let's go ahead to import mrs jade so so we're just gonna drag the fbx file in here so obviously there is um some settings that you guys need to know about mostly i just usually leave it as the way it is if you have like a face animation or you know morph targets to for your character to do some certain type of animation you can actually import that in your engine as well so I'm just gonna import all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in. So I said the following bones are missing. Yeah, just mostly like extra bones. I don't know, like um, Example has like this extra bones. Bone, it's just nothing serious, so you can ignore that. So our character is all set up. If I drag her in here, I'll just bring her up here. So you can see that the, you know, the textures are already set up. We don't have to really apply it manually, you know? So that's why I really like to, you know, um, yeah, I, I, I really love playing around with this. So now I'm gonna save all this. Okay, so let's go ahead to open the the skeleton. Here we are. All right. So obviously we can see, you know, all the joints that were attached. So yeah, yo, this is pretty much how I get my characters into Unreal Engine. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I apply the control rig. It's gonna be really quick with my template. By the way, I'm selling my template. If you guys want it, please email me, link in bio. So you can see that it all works. You know, everything works. It's all pretty cool, nice. You know what I mean? Even the fingers work. So let's go ahead to set up the control rig. So I do have the, the template rig here. So I'm just gonna copy this and then go back to my character here and paste it. So now we're gonna rename this to Jade Rig. I'm just showing you guys how easy it is for me to set up like a character, like really quick. You know, it's not really, it doesn't take me that long, except it's the character is complicated. All right, so this is my control rig template. If you open it, you're gonna see something like this. Now, the first thing I would advise you to do is when you go to the preview scene settings here, you just wanna you just want to add your your skeleton okay or your character right as you can see she's a bit short so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of adjusting to be made so i'm just gonna go ahead to, to you can actually disconnect this but you don't have to so the most important thing you have to do is you have to click on this and then go to refresh just so Unreal engine knows that this is a new skeleton right 
So when we click refresh, everything will now be, you can see the skeleton is all attached to our character properly. So when we go to compile, it's gonna look like this because we have to adjust the, the whole, the whole, um, the whole controls. So let's turn this off real quick. So now if I go up here, so I'm just gonna go control C, control shift and V just to adjust, all right? Do the same for spine one and spine two. And then there's the neck. So you guys have seen me do this before. So it's basically the same thing. I'm trying to create a script where you don't have to do this, but again, it, it's very complicated to figure that out. Yeah, trust me, it is complicated. So let's do the shoulders as well. So I'm gonna copy this. Let's hide the fingers. I'm actually seeing the shoulders right here. Okay. Left hand, boom. So we'll go to the right shoulders. The fingers are gonna take me time, so Basically, it's the same process. I won't worry about the fingers, to be honest. So let's do the right shoulders. Um, right shoulder is pretty much the same thing. Okay, so um, let's do the legs now. Now, sometimes the legs, I, I, I was seeing in the comments that um, some people say the legs are a bit complicated. It is, it is complicated because, I just, trust me, I, I, I went through a lot to figure out the legs. So, yeah, it is complicated. So, one, one thing you want to do is always copy this left foot into the foot left, okay? So that will adjust that angle there. And then the toe base, you always want to put in knee. Oh, actually, I did the wrong one. Left toe here. There you go. So now the problem is this knee. Wait a minute. I, I did. Sorry. The right, the left toe should be the toe left here. Yeah, better. So now the problem is, is this knee left control. So what I usually do, and it actually works for me, is on the left leg here, we just want to copy that position and paste it into the knee all right now obviously that will not work but um we'll, we'll do some adjustment later like in a few minutes so let's do the right leg as well this right leg uh, right toe and then the right leg okay so now what you want to do is for this knee we just want to drag this out, right? And then we are going to set initial from current, set initial from current. Now I'm going to connect my character here. So as you can see now, when we compile this, you can see our character moves properly. Okay, so yeah, pretty much that's what you want to do. Just drag those knees outside. Pretty amazing, right? Very easy. <laughs> so that's it, y'all. We have set up our character in Unreal Engine. And um, if we come over here, I'm going to save all this. If I come over here, create a new level sequence, right? I was going to delete this actually. And just drag our character in here and then we can actually um, go to control rig asset jade rig so you can see that our character is all ready to be animated live so let's just make jade say hi and goodbye so yo pretty much this is how i do it okay um, I really recommend truly getting my template. It really, really helps you. Like, 
I figure out how to save enough time. You know, I don't really because on Re Engine you can you know play around with a lot of characters. You know, it's like it's it's crazy what you can do with it. So I advise you guys message me and um, let me know you know when you need my template and I'm gonna give it to you. So um, the price is like fifty dollars. It's a one time thing and um, it's really it's re it's really gonna help you. And later on, if I figure out how to you know program my template in the sense that when you bring in your character everything just adjusts automatically like you see in metahuman like no matter the kind of character that you bring in from metahuman it adjusts automatically so that is like deep programming so i need to figure that out as well so yeah i'm working on that so in the meantime you can get this one if you've gotten this one if i have the new um templates i'm gonna provide it for free obviously okay so yeah pretty much um that's um that's all i just wanted to show you guys today um uh, i hope you, i hope this video helped you i hope it did uh as you can see jade she's saying uh you know thank you for watching uh, jade tell them thank you for watching okay oh no you don't want to tell them thank you for watching and um i'll see you guys next time take it easy and have a good day